Now we'll talk about the characteristics of X-ray spectra. The X-ray spectra consists of a definite, well-defined wavelength superimposed on the continuous spectrum. This is your X-ray photon and this is your ejected electron. These spectral lines generally occur in the form of small groups and are characteristics of the material of the target. The fast moving electrons having velocity of about 1 by 10th of the velocity of light which may penetrate the surface atoms of the target material and knock out the tightly bounded electrons even from the innermost shells may be a KL shells of the atom. You are able to see this is the ground state. So K shell, L shell, M shell and N shell. And the electrons are here. So from one state the electrons will move to the other state. So that it will lose some energy. The fast moving electrons are knock off one electron from K shell and the vacancy is filled by the nearby electrons from the L shell. So yeah, X-ray is passed. This will take the electron from, from that particular place and the other electron from the other shell will move to the nearby shell. During this transition, the energy difference is radiated in the form of X-rays of very small wavelength. This corresponds to K alpha line of the series. The frequency V1 of this line is given by the relation EK minus EL is equal to HV1. Suppose the electrons from M shell jumps to the K shell, it gives out K beta line and so on. So, from L shell, it's K alpha. If it is from M shell, it's K beta. If the electrons are from M shell to the vacant shell in L, it contributes to L alpha. And if the vacancy of L shell is filled by the electrons from N shell, so L shell is filled by electrons in N shell, then it's L beta. The frequency of radiation depends upon the target material. So you are able to see the X-ray from a molybdenum target at 35 kV. This X-ray spectra consists of sharp lines and is characteristics of target material. And this spectra is known as characteristics spectra.